Hello, today's GIS talk is a mobile GIS talk and the title of this talk is if your mobile GIS app doesn't work offline it doesn't work. So am I trying to be controversial here? Well, somewhat, but not really. Um, when, when you think about a mobile application you're really thinking about people moving around in space so it's people doing work out of the office well, what does that mean? It means you don't have an internet connection, at least an internal internet connection. You're going to re rely on a data plan or nothing. So what are the scenarios you might face out there? Well, nothing certainly means you've either got no 4G or 3G on your phone or you're in a very poorly connected area. Poorly connected. So you could be in areas where you have very slow connectivity or no connectivity. In all of those scenarios, you need to have an application which works offline. Let's talk about what we mean by offline. What we mean is you no longer have the ability to reach over the, over the network to pull back map data and to push data back into the system. So let's give a simplest example. Data collection. I want to go out in the field. I want to have the ability to collect data in area, remote areas Maybe it's you're a, a utility and you need to collect data on, on um, a new pipeline or a, a new uh, power pole that's been put in. So you need to place a point on the map and you need to, in, once you've placed that point, fill out attributes. It's, it's a wooden pole, it's certain height, etc, etc. Well, if you have no internet connectivity, you have to use a piece of paper and pen, which is the old way of doing things. In today's world, we don't need to do that. In today's world, we can build applications which provide you the ability to do things without any connection. So what does that mean? That actually means you download all of the information onto the device itself. So the map tiles, which make up the base map, maybe it's a satellite image. The layers that overlay that, again, in this, in, in this case, point data, power poles. You copy that all to the device and you can then work with it. When you go back online, if you've done editing, for example, you can push that data back into the system. Is it complicated? Well, it used to be complicated, yes. It used to be purely a native application solution. So again, Collect for ArcGIS is a very popular um, application that's out there um, that you can use. Um, but today, technologies move really rapidly and web technology now is a really very viable solution for building offline applications. Web technology is far simpler than, than native technology. So you can take a standard web application that you pull up in a browser and you can work with it offline. It's pretty amazing. Um, and we've been building out actually a Geo App Smart for ArcGIS which provides the, that functionality. Uh, it's a widget based application which is a web application and works fully offline, just with a tap of a button, so very simple. So I'll uh, finish by saying we still believe that if your, if your GIS application does not work offline, it doesn't work. And we believe moving forward, web technology will become a lot more popular, um, particularly for, for doing offline work, um, it will almost become ubiquitous. Thanks.